Day number two day here two. at Crater of Diamonds State Park. <laughs> we just paid our entrance fee. So it's ten dollars a person. Ten bucks a person for, for all day. Yep. Uh, so it rained heavily last night. Oh, Look, you can actually see water. the water out there in the field. So Abby's gonna do some walking around the day to see if yep. she finds any surface diamonds. I want one like this. I do too. <laughs> you need to find one of those big ones so, so we can go sell get it. Get a new and, house. <laughs> yeah, so we can build our house. Yes. <laughs> All right, so here we are at the rental station. And basically, you can see what you can rent. We're going to take uh, one screen thing? set for wet sitting and um, one GI shovel. One screen set, one GI shovel, be 49. We're going to get ready to get back to their returns. Okay. You'll issue that refund back to the card today. It'll be up to your bank or credit card when you get it back. Green button. All right, so basically, these are all the things that you can rent. The screen set, the box screen, a wagon. You can get the kit, the little round one. Buckets, shovel, and then the smaller shovel. And basically, there's a deposit that you get Hold back when you return your we'll equipment. That that. Lots of water out here today. Good. Good thing you got your rain boots on today. I know, I think I chose well. Oh, you did great. I'm gonna be putting these JK boots to the test. They're gonna get good and muddy today. Okay, so it is a muddy mess, which is perfect for this. <laughs> so I'm just gonna walk down here where the water is sitting. See if I can see anything. I love this stuff, everybody. You can see, I don't know if you can see him, but Adam's over there trying to find us a good section of rock to sift. How's it going, babe? Ooh. You going? Yep. Well, did you find that big one yet? Not yet. Not yet. No, but well, this looks like the right place. You got a lot of, see this right here? There's a nice drain right through here. Yeah. So I've been just, I don't know if I'm doing this right or not, but I'm just taking some, Scoot fools down in the gravel areas where the water's running off. Yeah. And then over here where all the gravel is piled up, I yeah. I dug a little bit. I try to kind of move the, the top layer of dirt off. Yeah. And try to feel where the gravel is. And I took a few scoops of the gravel there. But <clears throat> that, you know, being the main drain down through here. Yeah. It is definitely muddy and slick out it here. It is. And I'm, I've already gone like several inches in with my boot. Yeah. So. Well, I mean, I just wasn't even prepared for it to be as slick as it was. Yeah. When I'm like walking down the road, I'm like really? sliding all over the place. <laughs> so something to consider. Yep. But that's uh, getting heavy right there. Okay, yeah. So I might start working my way up there and go ahead and start checking that. Yep, let's go do it. But these kind of places here, I got a feeling are some of the, maybe it's the better sections to dig, but I don't know. Just kind of going off of what other people are telling us. Exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, you can tell that people get better as they go. Oh yeah. And, and you know how you know, we were talking and, about the cart, yeah. the guy in front of us, he's like, is that right. y'all's first time? He goes, yeah, those things are gonna cake up with dirt, those wheels. <laughs> we know. He goes, because I did it the first time I came out. <laughs> we know. We know. Okay, let's uh, let's get going. Okay. You look very manly. I do. I like the shovel. I got a shovel in my hand and my work boots on. Yeah. <laughs> Is 
definitely difficult to walk on. I'm gonna try not to fall down. All right, so compared to yesterday, look how clear these are. They haven't been touched yet. <sighs> not yet. It's nice that they have that level in there so you can't go down any further than that. So here's some of the other stones that you can find here. A lot of them look like what you're looking for, especially this one. All right, so they do have a little how to wet sift plaque here. It was basically what we saw in the video we watched. Starting to fill up. All right, so we're gonna get started with the sifting. Yep. Abby said that she wants to do the coarse sifter on top, right? Correct. Okay, so you're gonna start it then? No, I'm gonna let you start it, and then when you separate it, I'll. Oh, I'll you're work gonna. On, okay. Yeah. Come right here to this side. No more clean water. Nope. All that rain got in here and filled it up though. Yep. All right. Well, here's your coarse. I'll go through it. Gravel. I'm sure there's lots of cool stuff in there if you know what you're looking for. Oh, I still have the camera going. My bad. <laughs> That's okay. You got to capture the moment, right? Exactly. Your technique is good. So you're basically trying to get the heaviest things to the middle. This one I wasn't doing yesterday. I'm not sure if that's if that's the right technique or not. Is that? Is that? No, nope, maybe not. <laughs> okay. It sparkled up in my eye there. Okay, now do your loaf. No. You don't do the loaf after that. Oh, I thought you, you do did. that where you, it was saying to um, tap the screen after you've sifted it, and it kind of works the heavy to the bottom then. Mm. I don't know if I'm doing it right or not, but we're gonna go with that right there. Okay. Yep. Give it a flip. Yep, we're gonna give it a flip. Oh look, it you did. did great. It did work them to the bottom there. It did. It, yep. Yeah. Oh, I see some green. Really? Yeah. Nice. All right, I'm gonna look through these. Okay. Yeah, put your uh, put the core screen on the top, and just okay. dump everything in there, and then okay, and then you then you're kind of separating the real coarse gravel from what you're hunting for. Gotcha. Oh yeah, it's real quick to. It's real slippery get a back out there. Really slippery. Yeah. I do, oh, yeah. and I'm I am doing the same. So. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see any diamonds in here. Getting ready for the flip? Mm hmm. Yep. All right, I'm ready. Yep. That 
works. Mm -hmm. See anything? Uh, I don't. I don't think I see a diamond. No. All right. I just made the journey back from the bottom of the drain down there with another full bucket of mud. Abby's gonna give a shot at uh, at the screening here. It is very difficult walking up the field here after a rain because it's very muddy and slippery. I would recommend some boots with, uh, with some traction. My uh, JKs are they're getting the job done, but they're a little smooth on the bottom. Bam, look at all that color. Yeah. Good job. Thank you. Looks nice. You have certainly earned a back rub later. And they're hearing my heavy breathing. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> that is a uh, <laughs> that is a trek, and that it? is a long hike up hill. Yeah in mud yeah with a bucket full of mud and water get you some get you some <laughs> yeah i gotta get a drink water of water but uh and rest i'll sift i, I dug down in the little gravel areas again okay, perfect. Where, where all the gravel kind of collects and the water's running through i try to go like underneath those yeah. little pockets of gravel i think you're picking the right stuff so we're trying i'll start sifting yep all right well i think that was our last bucket full there yep so we did three of these guys full there's our what we're going to be taking home with us there yep you good with that i can't wait to go through it yeah that's going to be cool so yeah uh, she's got a lot more work ahead of her going through this drying yeah. it and sifting through it and seeing if she can find anything I good i bet you there's some good stuff in there there's going to be some good <laughs> stuff in there starting to fill up more definitely yeah. a lot more people out here now yeah i might walk around a little bit yeah well, we can do that. Yeah. We got our cart here. We'll uh, we'll just set that off on the side of the road here. And yeah. If you want to go walk around some. Yeah, I think I might. Okay. Let's do it. We're going to do a little walking, just walking and just see if we uh, find anything interesting. There's even some rocks that Abby likes to pick up and save to take home too. This should be a pretty cool uh, test for the road mic that we use. I don't know if you can hear Abby down there walking around. Abby, say something. Mic test. Mic test, hello. I am completely covered in mud right now. <laughs> All right, so I can't hear her. I can see her down there laughing. But uh, these are these this are good fantastic. for a straight line distance for, I, I don't know, it's like 100 yards or probably m more than that. I think we can be way over by those trees and the mic still work. This is just the first time we've been real far apart from each other where we could do that little test. So that is the east drain. That's where I got all of our um, shovelfuls of dirt and gravel today. I have never <laughs> quite experienced mud like I have right here. Yeah. Even just up here in this area. I mean, look at this right here. Seriously, look at my boots. It is mud and slick out here. Not complaining, it's just, I just didn't expect it. I chose you know? um, the perfect shoes for today. Yeah, you did. The rain boots yeah. played well today. Yeah. So I think I'm gonna walk down there a little. Yeah. But I need a drink first. Yeah, I wanted to walk down to this side too. That's where their famous little barn is down there. I wanted to be able to see it. You got some of the old diamond uh, machinery down here that was used at one time. One of the guys said, I haven't looked at the history of this place, but apparently it was once a commercial diamond operation here. So maybe once they got through what they're doing, the you know the state acquired it and turned it into a, a state park so everybody could come out here and try to find what was left. This really is such a cool thing. I mean, the fact that you get to keep everything that you sift. Yeah. And um, Well, yeah, I wanted to point out that as we're walking through here, we're newbies at this, obviously. Yeah. You know, we're just trying this for fun. But I think a lot of the people out here are the exact same way. I can tell just by yeah. listening to people that uh, a lot of people have not ever been here. It's their first time. They're, and they're, they're diving know, right in. I mean, they're just, they're just trying it. You know, they're walking yeah. around, they're digging a little bit and they're gonna, yeah. 
go over to the uh, the water table uh, station and try to find something. But uh, don't get discouraged that no. this isn't for you because yeah. most people out here are amateurs at this and they're doing no doubt it for about fun. It. And I mean, why are you out here if you're not gonna have fun with it? You know, I mean, I know there's some people here that are really serious. There are. And that's, and that's fine. They do this all the time or they're retired and they want to do it. Yep. And um, I totally get that. I mean, if you find a diamond, you can People do make it a lot and, of money on it. Well, so and, I get and it. We but. saw one guy, he had a little plastic case with a bunch of them in there. And, and you know, and he has a little thing that they're in. So it's got the date and he knows oh, where they're found. Those out here? People, people, uh, <laughs> I think they love to show off their collection. Yes, is what right. They do. Sure. It's just like anything you would collect. So people yeah. are here to collect diamonds and gems, gemstones, minerals. Well, I like all the rocks. I haven't seen much amethyst, um, but I think it might be on this side more. So maybe I can. Oh yeah, see you a said that uh, it's a little more on one side than the other. Right. Right. Yeah. Okay. This is awesome. I I will say that um, if you are in a wheelchair. And it's probably not the best. You can come it's, up to the thing. Yeah. So this but area with the here mud and is everything. Uh, accessible, but this area down here, you you can. But I would say on the day, not not after it not rains, after because it rains. it's really exactly. muddy through here. And I mean, it's. I would wait for it to be there dry. There are holes that you're falling in, and I mean, it's it's just I don't know how those kids are running. <laughs> They're kids. <laughs> They're kids. <laughs> that's what kids do. That's right. Wait till that's they get right. our age. They're gonna be like. <laughs> Oh my God, I didn't oh, know I could do that. Back. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so yeah, but anyway, this is, this is a really cool thing. Yeah, so this must be some of the old equipment that the mine used. That is a big flat belt pulley right there. That is impressive. This probably been, would have been one of the more uh, main pulleys, main drive pulleys. Oh, there's little puppy prints right here. Cute. You got a frog living over in this one here. <laughs> Never actually seen this type of equipment being used here. I have seen these. I think they're called a trowel I think these would spin I think and separate start separating all the rocks pretty cool bevel gear there babbit bearing <clears throat> these are babbit lined bearings right there this is some old stuff see the square head nuts on there this stuff goes back pretty far babbit bearings they're all they're all seized up That's the Babbitt right inside there. Neat stuff. Yep, so there's the famous barn that's on the signs and their logo. So yeah, I mean, you could, you can uh, come out here and dig anywhere you want. It's all open. So I was just reading the plaque here for the mine shaft, which is the building that you see right out there. Apparently that is a recreation of the original building that covered a mine shaft. All through the park, they have these little uh, shovels stuck in an area where the large diamonds were found. So this is an interesting story here of a lady from Dallas that found this one in 1956. It sold at auction in 1994 for $145,000. Pretty amazing. 15.36 carats. Very neat. All right, I wanted to come over here and check out the mineshaft building. And I was gonna say, there's a really cool plaque right there that gives the history of this place and everything that they did. Uh, up to it becoming a state park. That was cool. But I had to see the building. It's been here a long time, huh? Yeah, well they said this is a recreation of what was here. Oh, okay. And it covered a, uh, a mine shaft. Interesting.
this side's got a window. Let's see if we can see inside there. Can't really see much. The, the window's so dirty there. Sorry about that. Here's some more good information about the, uh, the park here. I'll snap a picture of that and put it up on screen for you. I think our adventure here at Crater Diamond State Park is gonna be coming to a wrap. Yeah. We've about had our fill of it, although Abby, she could walk this place all day and be happy. Yes. Did you find anything? Well, I mean, no, just a couple of things that I thought were cool. Okay. This one I just need to get cleaned up. I think it might be some amethyst. Okay, very cool. You can definitely do that. You can just walk to your heart's desire yeah. and pick up anything you want and you can keep it. I can definitely see why people say to come out after it's rained. Oh yeah. Because everything kind of gets shifted around a little bit and mm -hmm. it's uh, when the sun's not shining, it's not as easy to see sparkly, but it's still a great day to come. Yeah. Well, we, we've had a second great day here and I've enjoyed kind of walking around me and Abby both. We kind of walked over to that side. Yep. So we got to learn a little bit more of the history of the entire facility here and yeah. the property all the owners and the commercial diming processes that used to be done here. I like how and happy everybody looks. Everyone's really excited to be here. Most people. <laughs> I saw a few grouchy people okay, out here okay, because okay. they came out here with no expectations of getting dirt, dirty and muddy, and okay, they are, yeah. Yeah. but did that's you, just did normal. Did you show my boots? Oh, look, that was Abby trekking through the mud trying to find yeah. diamonds and gems and jewels. My boots are a little muddy too. Mm -hmm. We're really putting the, the JK boots to the test here to see how uh, where they are of muddy Whew. terrain. I'm tired. But, uh, I, I'm... So we, we're going to have like almost two full buckets of yeah. gravel to take home. Yeah. That's probably going to take a lot of time to go through. Um, Abby's going to research sort of the better methods to, I think you kind of pour it out on a sheet and you dry it yeah. out in the sun and then you kind of go through there and you try to find if you might have a diamond in that yeah. stuff. A lot of people find them when they get home. Yeah. So. Yep. So that's what we're going to do, but uh, we're going to call it a wrap right here. We've enjoyed our time, and we hope maybe you've enjoyed watching us out here digging the mud. Thanks for coming, baby. You're very welcome. I appreciate this it. This was all Abby right here. This was her <laughs> adventure that she wanted to do. I was so excited yesterday that I was, like, almost sick. Yes, yes. <laughs> that's what she was telling me. She goes, I think I got a I'm little so too sorry. excited I did. of coming out here. I did. I did. <laughs> but this is great. I love this. I love getting dirty and yeah. trying to find something great. Yeah, this is great. Yeah. So, all right, we're out of here. Yeah. Let's go. Bye. <laughs> all right, see you guys later. Oh, that's like a drop off. <laughs> <laughs>